Now, in other news, they served our country and now they continue to serve our community. Last night, the disabled American veterans invited representatives from Community Services for Sight, formerly the Blind Association, to their meeting in Hazleton. The group recently donated one of its used passenger vans to the local nonprofit organization. I drive the van to the Wilkesboro VA Hospital. Okay. And we carry blind veterans to the VA Hospital on our DAV van. And in communicating with them, they indicate that the community services for sight also take them for their food, their clothing. And so we talked about it and we thought when we are ready to update a van, let's try to give our old van to the community services for sight because they carry blind veterans, included with blind people. What always amazes me is that veterans come home and help other veterans. It just seems to help again and again. You would think, hey, come home, take it easy, but it just doesn't seem to happen like that. Why, why do you think the drive is there to, to help out others? That, that's what it's all about. Uh, that's the only reason I don't get paid for what I do. I'm a volunteer. Uh, I'm doing it for other veterans. Uh, that's why I'm here. Roman Barron and Bill Hines had contacted us and said, we have the possibility of a 12 passenger van for you. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's <laughs> incredible because they act, this is actually the second one that we've been uh, given. And the first one was a little bit older and wear and tear, so it was time to retire it. But uh, we're really excited to have this one because having that 12 passenger vehicle, we're able to um, you know, bring more people at one time, of course. It's great for our summer camp with our kids because we're bringing those guys back and forth to different places uh, and just the regular everyday stuff with our clients sometimes we have several people going and we have to bring out another van or somebody has to take their personal vehicle so this way we can get everybody in one group they get to socialize on the van it's more economical for us and takes us less time to get everybody there Last thing I want to ask, you've been using the van too to, to move a lot of things because you guys are, have moved, are moving. Yes, um, <laughs> we actually took the seats out for the day and loaded it up with a lot of things from the office because we have officially moved. Um, I already miss our downtown location, but we've moved to 4 Brook Hill Road in Sugarloaf. Uh, it's a much smaller space, but it's it's home, so we'll, we'll learn to adjust to the new location. And, you know, every move has its bumps, but we'll get them all smoothed out before we know it. Last night's meeting was held at American Legion Post 76 in Hazleton. Community Services for Sight is now at its new location for Brook Hill Road in Sugarloaf. For more information, call the agency at 570-455-0421.